Hey guys, Corn Fed down at Big R today uh, with your installment of Fly of the Week. Got some stone flies going off on some of our local streams as well as other streams around the state. So we're tying the past rubber leg in my mind, probably the best stone fly nymph ever created. Got more fish on this nymph than probably any other. Um, super simple pattern to tie and like I said, super effective. So check it out fish it. See ya. Just gonna start this out by wrapping on our thread. Go all the way to the back. The hook. And we're just gonna tie in some uh, sexy floss in brown. That's what we're gonna use for our legs here. We're just gonna kinda tie it in on the top of the shank and figure eight at once, hold both pieces and wrap them back. And then kind of just work them out, tease them out to what you want. That guy there, there we go. And then we're gonna wrap about three quarters of the way up the shank and just insert a series of legs in the same way, tie it on top of the shank and then figure eight. So stone flies have three legs up front and some big long feelers so that's what this is going to imitate, it's a series of legs. And these legs, this sexy floss comes, it's, they're all kind of twisted and mangled. Really doesn't matter what it looks like on the fly just because they all get wrapped back in the water, flown back in the water. Okay, so we got our legs on now, and now we're just going to put some antenna, antennae up front. Same way. Except for we're going to fold this one forward. And then manipulate them until you got them where you want. And make some good hard wraps on them. Now we're going to just wrap our thread back again. Careful not to get those legs caught up. Now we're going to take some 035 wire and build a wire body. Stone flies ride on the bottom so you want to fish this guy deep. That's what the wires going to do. So we're going to wrap the entire body. Again, be careful with the legs. This pattern actually fishes really well unweighted in shallower rivers, kind of like the Madison. I like to fish in unweighted pads with split shot. But for the big hole or Belt Creek, Blackfoot, Rock Creek, those kind of rivers, you, uh, you definitely want this on the bottom. Let's get, to the, get enough on there. Snip it. little chunk. Fold it over. Now I'm just going to take some hard as hull and uh, put a light coat over the wire here. It kind of solidifies it. And be kind of careful. Don't let that hard as hull really touch the rubber legs that much because it will bond to them and will make them kind of flimsy and break. And so now I'm just going to tie in some chenille and we're going to be using this New Age Chenille in a chocolate mint color. Whoops. We're just gonna tie it in in the back here. 
And then we're just going to wrap it, wrap it all forward. Kind of a tedious process with these rubber legs here, but what do you do? And just wrapping it forward. This pattern works in a variety of colors, just about anything you can dream up in a buggy color. I really like this chocolate mint color. It's kind of somewhat variegated and it's got some sparkle incorporated into it. We're just gonna try to get it kind of in and out of these legs here. And once we get it up front, we're just gonna tie it off. It's a really good looking color. They're open. Or third side of the week, yeah, they are. Sorry. I haven't heard any report, so. Just kind of wrap those legs back a little bit and just get everything tied in nice and well here. And then just do a five turn whip finish. Pop it off there. Trim the little tag edge. And then what we're going to do with our legs is. I try to make these back back legs about the length of the hook shank. This front feeler a little bit yeah. shorter. And then you can size these legs however whatever floats your boat. The bigger the legs, the bigger the fly imitation is gonna be. I like to do mine a little bit shorter than the shank so it's not always getting wrapped up, but you want both sides to be about equal and that's it, that's a finished Pats.